2014, Che Holmes came to me. They had seen my portfolio of images in the city of Brea and wanted to know if I'd be interested in doing some work in their project here called Blackstone. And of course I was, and it's been a wonderful experience and I uh, really enjoyed working with Shea Holmes. One of the benefits was Jim Hollis, the project manager, was a landscape architect before he became a developer. And so he understands land use and planning and planting and uh, situating my artwork into the sites along this three quarter of a mile drive through the neighborhood of Blackstone. So the eight pieces begin at the corner of Santa Fe and Lambert with a large 14-foot depiction of a quartz crystal. The first piece is called Gems, as well as the eighth piece called Gems. They're sort of like bookends to the project. I wanted something dynamic, something not square. There's uh, benches throughout the project that I created. I want to provide seating for people to sit and reflect. The second site is called Flora and Fauna and includes large cactus shapes in a green glazed matte tile that uh, also include animals that are present in Brea and most of Southern California. Insects like dragonfly and birds and coyote, owl. So all these animals are found in this site and they're sort of hidden on the surface of these extra large cactus. One of the nicest features of the cactus is the cactus apple in red. Site three is what we call the water drop, and it's like a frozen image of a drop of water splashing. It uh, also includes a plaza where we did some colored glass to also reinforce the water theme. And I set some blue and white tiles in a flattened out pattern to uh, also stimulate the, um, the impression of water.
so site four is like a large derrick. If you know anything about Brea, it was founded on oil. First people here were oil wildcatters. I knew I wanted to include an image of an oil derrick, but my derrick has five sides so that you can see more than one side at a time. It also includes through the crossbars of the, of the derrick landscape of Brea, including pepper, trees, poppies, cactus, and uh, particularly like it at night when it looks like it's glowing. I also included in the base, around the base, are depictions in terracotta and terrazzo of diatoms, which are the microscopic single cell organisms that when they get compressed under the ocean, it creates oil. So they, these are the, this is the basis of oil here. Funky flowers. These are flowers of Brea, according to my research. These are historic Brea um, photographs that I got at the Historical Society. Site 5 is one we call oil exploration, and it includes photographs that were mounted on tile of early images, and I work with the Historical Society here on selecting images of the people and the places of Brea, what Brea looked like 100 years ago. And they are celebrating their centennial this year, so maybe somebody will enjoy looking at some of the old photos of Brea. It also includes four columns that are reminiscent of the marker that was placed to remember the exploration of Portola when he came through this area. Those obelisk type shapes are reminiscent of the column that is set in his honor. Site six is the two-sided one, one on each side of the street, providing bus stops, uh, benches that were made with crushed shell to remind people that this area was underwater and there's plenty of shell fragments around in the soil here. So I created these extra large shells. One of them's 11 feet and the other one's about the same size. The shell are large depiction of a trumpet shell and a turban shell. this we'll use a little muriatic and water and it'll get rid of this grout scum that you see on this matte green matte greens will uh, matte glazes will uh, uh, absorb the stain from the colored grout and we we're, we're gonna do them all at once so so after we uh, finish the next one we'll acid wash this one and site number four and five also Site seven we call seed to tree. In the upper section of the wall behind the arch is a depiction of the cross section of a walnut. A lot of people don't know that prior to the orange industry in the Orange County was there were walnuts. And so I chose that as my theme for this piece. Final site, site eight, is the bookend of the quartz crystal called Gems, and it also includes some seating. I include that to 
encourage people to sit and relax inside the art as well as enjoying just looking at it. 